hello everyone and as you got you all already know i'm john cosmos madu and i welcome you to the youtube channel of the big bang forest group now as always i'll first and foremost i'd love to thank you all for taking our time to you know to watch my content to receive my what i have to say whether you found me through youtube search or whether you're subscribed to my youtube channel or my telegram channel or whether you're following me on instagram or facebook i want to say thank you for just taking our time to watch my content you know it, it means a lot to me it gives me encouragement to keep making more you know keep making more videos like this to help you all better your trading and if you're not yet subscribed you know consider subscribing to this channel because i really put out great content that could help you all you in your trading now today i'm going to be showing you guys a very very effective strategy that scalpers can use to really really make money in trading forex now this strategy is very very effective it's for me it's it happens to have 70 to 85 percent potential of being profitable you know now this play is just about trading the gap it's about trading the gap now what a gap is of course in the market when the market closes as a particular price and opens at another price far from where it's closed so you can see the market closed at this particular price and look at what happened it opened at this particular price so this is a gap or let me be specific this is a gap this is a gap because it is about this is about a 57 pip gap you can see the market closed at this level at this price and opened here so this is a gap to um i think i have another one here yeah so this is also a gap the market closed somewhere here and opened somewhere here this is also a a gap now um when you look at the gap mostly um gap occurs mostly at the in the opening of a new trading week like opening on the new trading week that's where gap occurs mostly so when you look at the gap mostly in the opening of a new trading week there's a good chance that it's going to close there's a good chance that it's going to close like look at this particular gap now you can see that the market what happened the market gapped from this level and open at this level but what happened the market closed the gap it closed the gap it closed the gap same thing happened here you can see the market opened at this level gap down to this level and what happened it closed the gap before it opened before it turned around and kept going down it closed the gap though this is not hundred percent you know nothing in the market is hundred percent you know so as you can see the market didn't close this particular gap but the most important thing is to have a strategy or to have to recognize the setup that plays at least 70 percent of the time that plays out because that is how you can maximize profit and minimize your losses it's all about having a strategy that having a strategy that works 70 at least 70 percent of the time and that is what i'm about to show you this particular strategy in fact where 70 percent that it works more than 80 to 90 percent of the time it works and you see you you will see as i show you more examples you will get to know how to trade it better so the way you trade this particular setup is when you when the trading week starts you wait for the first one hour you don't trade in the first one hour you wait for the first one hour before you take the trade so if you open up your chart at the um, on monday and or let's say on sunday the market opens depending on your, your where you're watching I'm, I'm i'm in nigeria and 
I'm working with Nigerian time. So normally our new day opens at eleven o'clock. A new day opens at eleven o'clock. So if on Sunday you open your chart and you see a gap like this, you wait for you wait for the first one hour. That is, you wait from eleven o'clock. You wait till twelve. Then at the close of the first one hour candle, you can now trade it and target. This is where you target here somewhere here you know the you can see that it gaps from here to here so it targets the close of the candle that it gaps from so this is where you'll be targeting this candle but you'll be targeting the close of this candle and you can see that if you have wait if you had waited for this first one hour candle to close and taking a buy you would have easily got yourself 138 pips uh, sorry <laughs> you have easily got yourself 30, 35 pips you know easy now this particular strategy it works most of the time so you don't really need to have a um a, um risk to reward ratio of 1 to 2 or 1 to 3 you know because it works most of the time so you don't really you can even a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 1 is okay you can decide okay that since your target is that seven pips let your stop loss be that seven pips too to give you enough space in case the market wants to dance around before it closes the gap so that is a very very good way to manage um a, that is a very very good way for to handle your risk management when trading this you calculate you check where your take profit is how many pips it is then if it's that seven pips then you can just use that seven pips as your stop loss to give you enough space to trade this you can see at this point where the mark after the first one are uh, if you had you can see you have targeted 24 pips and breaks 24 pips to your target would have easily been met would have easily been met now i suggest you target you don't really target the close exactly the close you can just come down a little bit at the week if it has any week at the week and target the week to be to be on the safe on the safe at the safe end instead of just targeting the close like here it would have been best you can see it just targeted the week you know because sometimes the market can close the gap and just keep going but most times they can other times they can just touch the gap and just reverse like it did here to close the gap dance around and reverse other times it might not do so it might just not it might not even try to close the gap it will just turn around like this you know you'd have targeted somewhere here 14 pips risking 14 pips so you that your stop loss would have been hit here but you know if you can if you check the amount of times this particular setup plays out you know that it's actually worth worth it so you could just practice this strategy you know it could help you make some profit especially in, in the market you know and you should apply proper money management when trading this because you know although it's gap you could still retrace by some pips and if you are over leveraging your account could be wiped out so you should apply you should do over leverage you, do, you shouldn't risk your account personally if i'm to recommend i recommend you risking at least five percent of your account or at most five percent of your account for to trade this particular setup or ten percent depending on you know depending on your risk appetite you could risk like five to ten percent of your accounts because this always pl plays out most of the time so imagine if you just you are just um trading only gaps and you take like maybe say ten trades in a month and out of ten trades seven plays out and three play and three dozens and if for every um if you are if your account is one thousand dollars and you're risking fifty dollars for each trade to get fifty dollars you see yourself making if you calculate it fifty times fifty times seven will give you um three fifty and fifty times should give you one fifty so three fifty minus one fifty will give you two hundred so you, if you have one thousand dollars and you practice you, you use the strategy you could stand the chance of making two hundred dollars a month, which is not bad at all. Which is not bad at all. It's very, very. As a matter of fact, it's very, very good. You know, twenty percent return on your investments is 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 nice. 
now let me show you i, I would like to show you other gap examples this is the aud swiss franc look at the um the aud card you can see the, you can see the same thing the market gap down to this level we probably waited for this then your target will be somewhere here this is where you'll be targeting and maybe as i told you you calculate this it is 23 pips target you could put your stop loss somewhere here 23 pips too and you can see this played out you'd have you'd have got yourself 23 pips easily let's go to the card jpy you can check it out for yourself your free time you know this is just a short video i can't go through all the pairs so you can see this you can see this too this gap down to this level and as you can see if you had waited after this first hour count you got in here you would have been you can see 78 pips would have been your target and you'd have been risking 78 pips too let's say you targeted somewhere here and entered somewhere here this 75 pips so risking your own 75 pips and you would have you would have really this would have played out now you can see this these two this particular one tried to close it a little bit but didn't so this particular one would have might, might not really have worked out if you follow the rule might not really have worked out too well about our targeted somewhere here 27 pips and you can see only went 24 pips you know if you like you can choose to bring it down a little bit depending on you but you know i'm so i'm a very very i'm a very very disciplined person and i love to do things i don't really i'm not a trader that what i'm not really emotional when i'm taking trades i don't care if it's miss my tp by one pip i just take it like that that the strategy didn't just work out so let's go to the um euro card um euro card and you can see the market gapped up to this level the market closed here the market gapped up to this level or will i say this level and if you are targeted let's say somewhere here you target this one may is three pips and put your stop loss is three pips you would have won this trade now let's go to the gbp swiss franc this would have worked out gap down to here you target where it gap down from which would have been let's say somewhere here ah oh. and maybe you you your take profit was 25 pips your stop loss was 25 pips this would have missed your stop loss by a little bit depending on where you got maybe the market opened and start was here so if you got in somewhere here and you targeted somewhere here 31 pips so this might not this, this would have played out depending on where you got in so let's go to the gbp jpy um the gbp jpy so as you can see this is another very nice setup you can see it's another very nice setup you would have really okay you got in somewhere you let's say you got in somewhere here and you place your tp somewhere here as i uh, as i tell you you would have gotten a clean 111 114 pips clean you know that that is how powerful this strategy is let me give you more okay i think there's something i want to show you in the gbp jpy this is another gap that didn't close so you just know that it's not 100 percent this is another gap that didn't close so you can see if you had gotten in let's say it sold you got in somewhere here after the first one hour uh, and you you put your take profit as 51 your stop loss as 51 pips and your take profit as let's say Okay, your take profit as let's say 50, 47 pips and your stop loss as 47 pips to you. Your stop loss would have been hit because you only really went up a little bit. It didn't really go up to 47. It would have been hit. So this didn't play out. So as, as I told you, nothing in the market is 100%. Let 
Let's go to the GBP USD. Let's go to the GBP USD and um this played out. Market gap down to this level and you would have targeted here. <laughs> this was just really I won't have taken this trade because it was really it has, it has really closed the gap. So I won't have taken this trade. We closed the gap in the first one hour of the day. So I won't have taken this trade. So if you notice, you notice I told you it normally happens during weekend. If you not look at the date, this is 28th of February 2020, and this is what? Second of March. I told you it happens if you check the rest of the charts that I, examples I showed you, it happens during weekends. Let's look at the SDJPY. You can see. I mean when I mean join because I mean join as in it happens like when the in the, in the beginning of a new trading week. That's what I mean. Happens at the beginning of a new trading week. Let's look at the SDJPY. Look at it. You put your buy here, you traded it up to this level. Put your take profit somewhere here. As you can see, you would have gotten yourself about it's if seven pips neat. And let's check the usd card i want to make sure that you guys really get this let's check the usd card because it is another particular gap that wasn't closed you can see but look at this gap you know the market closed somewhere here and the market opened somewhere here yeah so if you targeted somewhere here you would have gotten 36 pips neat the market open somewhere here so let's say you you tie and your take profit or somewhere here that have gotten 36 pips needs then let's look at usdjpy uh, you can see the market gap from here to here after this candle entered here you would have gotten yourself 70 pips or thereabouts and these two oh you can see the market already closed the gap so i won't have taken this trade you want to wait for the you want to take a trade after the one hour to make sure you don't want to make sure that the market has already closed the gap you want to take the trade when the market has not really started closing the gap or at least started moving to that direction of the close a little bit so and last but not the least, let's look at the USD. Uh, let me pick one exotic, <laughs> exotic pair. And this is another example, as you can see, the market gap from here to this point. And if you did as I told you, targeted 136 pips and risk 136 pips too. So, you know, you targeted 136 pips and risking 136 pips too. So, you would have cost yourself a very nice 100 and. 30 or 136 pips or thereabouts so um so as usual this is how it works make sure that your money management is tight it's very very important that your money management don't risk all your accounts because of one trade don't value it don't follow people that show you taking ten dollars to one thousand dollars in two days taking hundred dollars to um five thousand dollars in two days i'll tell you one thing you guys you, you all don't know you see most people that tell you all this kind of stuff that they do it truly I, I won't lie to you they do it but many of them actually lose a lot without telling you there's a people that actually try always try to take like two hundred to three hundred dollars to like fifteen thousand dollars in a short while they might lose that three hundred dollars like up to like ten or fifteen times. They might lose it up to like ten or fifteen times. And most times, if you check the way they are losing weight, that lot that in their the weight at which they lose and the weight at which they win, you might see that it's not really gap. It's the profit is not really much. Or even sometimes it might just be lost because most of them that do so just do that to sell courses. You know when they show you that they've made um, five thousand dollars with hundred dollars you know they, they know how you human beings react to all this kind of thing they become very very excited and they want to learn and you go and pay huge amount of money three hundred dollars four hundred dollars five hundred dollars just because you want to make use hundred dollars to 
make ten thousand dollars you know it doesn't really that is they try to give you this get rich quick mentality though the, the material is not get rich quick but if you look at the way that what they're putting in your head is actually get rich quick scheme it's all psychological that's what they're putting in your head so i don't advise that i i'm somebody that believes in taking profits little by little and growing your account or just getting like 20 percent of your account trading moderately like the way professional traders and hedge funds trade so as i told you this normally happens during weekends and you know it happens during weekends and like or at the beginning of a trading week which is also during weekend so you can see this was 28th of february and this next candle was what second of march it happens most times during weekend so if you want to trade this it's very nice for you to build your system on or your phone or anything you used to analyze on sunday immediately 11 o'clock the moment the market opens on opens on sunday you just open your charts and begin to look out look out for gaps and when you see the gap you measure how far you can actually go then you wait for one hour after the first hour you take your trade to close the gap you risk exactly what you where your take profit is the number of pips your, your take profit is you put the, your stop loss there and you just watch and see and i tell you most times you're making profits than losses you know so now let me just give you this guy this you this last um tip normally gap to happen during weekdays like during weekdays gap happen but to be sincere with you they are more effective the more effective gaps happen during um weekends now the ones that happen during week the most times is due to misprice misquote of price or when the um broker actually maybe the price is supposed to be at a particular level but maybe when they close the price the price really immediately corrected itself and they made a gap those gaps are not significant to cut the long story short those, those gaps are not significant significant the significant gaps are the gaps that happen in the beginning of during weekends or in the beginning of a new trading week so thanks for watching i hope you all got value from this um this is like a 23 minute video but anyways i hope you all got value if you like this video like it if you want to, to get more of this just subscribe to my channel and you can also subscribe to my telegram group i will try and put the link my general telegram channel my telegram channel you can I'll try and put the link below so you can subscribe if you want to join my family because i put out all that tips and you know you can really get value from it too so it's all your choice so thanks for watching and stay blessed